touchdown confirmed. InSight has landed. After nearly seven months of travel, NASA's InSight spacecraft safely arrived on the Red Planet Monday. And just minutes after touchdown, the first photo was beamed back. Programming has to be perfect. The flight controller computer has to do everything by the book without any problems. And it did just that. InSight's mission helps scientists get a better understanding of the planet's makeup, not from surface soil samples, but from deep inside. Inside is actually landing on the most boring place on Mars. It's super flat. They call it the Kansas of Mars. It's like a parking lot. The lander is expected to become the first spacecraft to use technology to understand Mars' core. If all goes as planned, by the end of the week, we'll be we'll we'll know the health of the spacecraft. We'll know the health of the instruments. Those instruments include a seismometer to measure the planet's internal activity, a heat probe to take its temperature, and a third tool that will study its reflexes. We expect to get all of our really interesting key science data in those first two years. In that time, InSight could bring answers to questions like, is the planet's interior solid, liquid, or some combination? Those types of questions are really important for understanding how the planet, what it looked like when it first formed and how it got to be where it is today. Over the next decade, NASA says its Mars exploration program will keep looking at the challenges in sending humans to the fourth planet from the sun. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Pasadena, California. California. Insight's probe will dig about 16 feet into the subsurface of the planet. That's deeper than all previous Mars spacecraft. So great.